Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, October 26th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am aware of and believe in my power. And today we're going to do that week ahead overview and let me just say there is a good possibility this week could get weird. <laughs> Uh, expect the unexpected would be a really good motto for this week. So, um, our first thing up that we have coming up this week is we actually have both Mercury and Venus shifting into Libra. And it, they're both happening, it's on uh, Tuesday the 27th, actually within minutes of each other. <laughs> they're shifting into Libra, but uh, Venus is shifting into Libra from Virgo because Venus is direct and Mercury is retrograding back into Libra. So Mercury will be hanging out at 29 degrees Libra. So what we need to be aware of with that is we have, I always call it like the, the zero degree and the 29 degree, the alpha and the omega Libra energies. So even though we have some weirdness this week, the universe is like, remember those lessons of balance? We need to come back to those. <laughs> Very important, as you're aware of your, your power, to keep coming back to, okay, how do I stay balanced? What is peace? What is harmony in relationship to myself? So we can dig more into that in the next scope, but do be aware of that. I also do want to mention, this means that we're going to have Mercury approaching that um, zero degree energy in Scorpio, and zero is a transformational degree. So that may be part of the weirdness stuff coming up to be transformed. Again, a calling to stay in your power and be aware of it. In any situation, you have the power of transformation. And even if it feels like you can't do anything to outside energies that are affecting whatever, there is always the internal change that you have power over. So do keep that in mind for that. The other thing is we're building into, I would say, quite a powerful full moon on Halloween. We have Halloween this week on Saturday the 31st. Um, the full moon will actually reach its peak in the morning, um, but it's also conjunct Uranus. So <laughs> full moon conjunct Uranus. Again, Uranus is the planet of rebellion, change, unexpected change. Again, expecting the unexpected. And with this full moon energy, change is at hand for sure. Now with this, you know, Taurus can bring up our worth, production, money stuff. It can affect any and all of that. Um, but I would say as the moon aligns with it, there may be emotional triggers coming up this week that do need to be dealt with, especially around your worth, and you may find it around money. Um, you know, we're building this week to a big election here in the States, and, <laughs> you know, this is really interesting energy to build into it. But again, keeping in mind, keeping both feet on the ground in regards to your power, and then going back to those lessons of balance, no matter what happens, we need to be able to hold our own in those energies. So just keep that in mind uh, with this big full moon energy coming in. Like Uranus is, whew, it is, it is a shake up planet. It's the planet that I always call the revolution evolution planet. So of a note in this as well, um, I read this somewhere, I wish I could remember who said it, but we do have uh, Uranus retrograde. So even though changes that come up, they may seem like they're not moving us forward, they absolutely are. Any retrograde energies that come up, any cha-cha movements, two steps forward, two steps back, Reviews are important. These re-lessons are important. The reviews are important. So do keep that in mind in and through all of this. We are all in this together and we are all getting the lessons that we need and hopefully we can learn them. You know, hopefully again, we can step into our power and find our balance and learn these lessons. I also want to mention that we have daylight savings time uh, on Sunday, November 1st. So we jump into November next week. Holy moly. Down to like basically 
two last months plus a week of 2020 and oh my goodness what a 2020 it has been so you know it, it doesn't sound like a lot it's not a lot of stuff but it is it does have a certain level of intensity to it so do keep that in mind that being said today's astro is on the mellowerish side now again we want to pay attention to the fact that we have mercury winding down <laughs> winding back in Scorpio, it will be reaching that zero degree energy uh, probably later in the day or closer to Tuesday energy. But that zero degree energy can definitely spike Mercury happening. So whether it is stuff, shadows, issues around power that are coming up that need your uh, focus, <laughs> you need your attention, that's a better word for that, um, or if it's like, you know, Mercury Mayhem Mischief <laughs> coming up, so technology going haywire, any of that kind of thing, with Mercury reaching that zero degree, that stuff is bound, bound to spike up. Again, stand in your power, know, know, your, know your balance, hold your balance, find that peace, harmony within breathing. Good practice. Um, Venus, Venus finishing up in Virgo. So Venus finishing up in Virgo can again bring up worth stuff, worth stuff around perfection, worth stuff around how you think that you're supposed to show up in the world. You know, if you were following the rules, if all the rules applied, how you were supposed to show up. And yet, Venus and Virgo, when you're true to the healer, when you're true to yourself, there is yet another calling. And that ties in, I feel like, to the fact that Lilith has once again returned to connect with Mars. She oscillates and she's like, ah, oh, this Mars energy, it needs another brush by of that Lilith energy that reminds us to go our own way, do our own thing, be aligned in your personal coordinates. Now, I'm so excited. Um, I actually got for this week the Halloween Oracle. I actually got it to pull cards for my patron group, but I haven't told them yet. So <laughs> I'm so excited it got here. Um, and the card I pulled is the werewolf card. And I think Lilith can sometimes be compared to this energy, although I don't think that's exactly accurate. Not in her truth. However, in the suppression of it and aligned with suppressed Mars energy, we may find this. And so I actually wanted to read a part of this card. The werewolf is a kind of a shapeshifter, the one that traditionally has little control over his wildness. In a way, an inner battle between civilization and wild animal nature fights inside the one body. The vitality, strength, and freedom of the animal versus the reason, control, and intellect of the man. Which one, though, is the dominant force? What is the healthy balance between our animal nature, one that is wild, free, and connected to nature, and our radically civilized humanness? Civilized. Because we're civilized, right? We've proven that in 2020. We have figured out how to be civilized. Um, so anyway, our radically civilized humanness separate from or dominant over nature. The werewolf asks us to consider this balance and to delve into our own ideals of wildness, independence, and custian, custianship, custodianship, that's the word, custodianship of the planet. When is the last time you spent all day outside? When is the last time you threw your head back and howled at the moon? Do you squash the vitality and curiosity of your body and mind by sitting all day in front of the computer? The werewolf challenges you to weave a balance between nature and your own nature. And so that absolutely, to me, connects with this Lilith energy, Lilith conjunct Mars. And we may feel that primal, feral wildness coming up. And I don't believe we need to fully suppress that, but we need to listen to it. It has messages for us. Sometimes it does need to be tempered, you know, so be aware if that is something that needs to happen in and through it. But it is calling us to break through the civilized human <laughs> because our humanness, it's forgotten so much that is important. And I don't believe that it is properly civilized or maybe it is civilized, but maybe that's not exactly what we want. Socialized? I don't know. I don't know what the right words are here, but hopefully you get what I'm saying in this. So Lilith connecting to Mars is helping us break through some of that. Besides that, we only have the moon in Pisces, which is taking us still deep, 
deep into deep into our psyche, deep into our psychic nature. Um, it's connecting to Uranus early in the day, prepping us for that new moon energy. Again, expecting the unexpected, but remembering there is this divine plan unfolding, even in these radical shifts, changes, what on earth is happening kind of energies. Your work is to align and connect with your highest path, your soul path. Your highest path supports everybody's highest path. So do keep that in mind. But that's all part of the balance and that's all part of staying in your power in and through the wild and wacky 2020 that we are all moving through. So, uh, oh, cards, my other cards. Um, courage. Courage to stay in the heart and trusting the silence card, trusting in the divine plan. This is the star card. It is a card of bright future. So stay in your heart and remember there is this bright future unfolding. And sometimes that means laughing, <laughs> crying <laughs> through these shifts and changes. So I'm going to leave that there for now. Uh, you can book a reading with me. Email me, Mimi Clark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power, always, and stay curious. Namaste.